question. What's your question? So, so what happens when you see these mothers out there, they become single parents, or, you know, not just by choice, because these men don't step up. Mm. So, mm. so okay. wait, 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 wait. That was a good thing you said. I want to repeat that. Because it was good, but it was wrong, unfortunately. You said these women nowadays, they become single parents, not by choice, but because the men left them, right? So, this is my question. What woman became a single parent without the choice of laying down? You know? How do you become a parent? You had to lay down and open your leg. So, the woman chose to lay down with a man who had not gave her a commitment of marriage. Right? So, she chose to be a single parent. Because when you have sex, kids come. Right? Now, I'm not letting go of no man who's a weak man who's not taking care of their family. I'm not, this, this, I'm not, because we get on them as well, right? But you a sister, so we deal with sisters, right? But sisters, they don't like to take accountability. Right. The, the problem is, and the, why well, not a problem, but what, the things in our relationship, men control access to relationships. So they choose whether we get married or not. They have to, they have to be the one to ask, initiate the marriage, right? Women control what? Power to sex. So you do not have to open your legs without a commitment. Yes, right. You're not supposed to open your legs without a commitment. So once, if you become a single parent mother, you have to look into the mirror first. No, not saying it's not dead be daddies out there, because there are, and they're weak, like I said. Right. But you have to take responsibility for that, because right. God said we as a people got to put away the put. Wait, give me that. Put away the finger. Uh, Isaiah 58. Isaiah 58. Look at. Let me show you what God said, right? Because that's another problem in the black community is every time we're learning something new, we like to point out other people's flaws. Right. You know what I'm saying? I've done it. We all done it here. And God said that it doesn't speak a particular spirit. We got. Listen to what God said about that. Read what you got. This is the book of Isaiah, chapter 58, verse 9. Bring it up. Then shalt thou call, and the Lord shall answer. Thou shalt cry, and he shall say, Here I am. If thou take away from the midst of thee the yoke, the putting forth of the finger. He said, The only way you. When you cry out to the Lord in your prayer, and He ain't gonna hear you and respond with action, is if you put away the put of the finger. For example, when I say sister's supposed to wear dressing, the right spirit to be in, the humble spirit to be like, I didn't know that. Let me go build my collection of dresses up. Right. Let me get some bad dresses so I can make them look good. So my life's modest dress. That should have been the thought. But instead it was like, but the men, but the men! That's not, that's not a true statement. Depending on your job, depending on what you do, you know what I'm saying? I mean, every job is not going to require for a woman, you know, to wear a dress. What do you job. do? Right now, I, I'm a medical assistant. You med My mother's a medical assistant. You can wear a dress as a medical assistant. Read so read it again. Read it again. What did it say? The pudding up. The, the pudding forth of the finger. You got to stop it, sis. Stop. Give me some rock chapter 32, verse 17. Because ultimately you want to get to the kingdom of heaven. When you, when you, you don't want to get to the kingdom of heaven? Hello, Israel. This is Bishop Nathaniel. I want you to know that you can view all our Sabbath classes live on IUIC TV. That's right. I said on IUIC TV. Download the app today. Shalom. Don't worry about that. They redeemed me. Ultimately, you want to get to the kingdom of heaven, right? And the way that you get to it, do you know how you get to the kingdom of heaven? And obeying his word. That's that's good, but that's kind of broad, right? I'm gonna, I want to give you exact. You know what I'm saying? So you know exactly. So when you go home, you know exactly what to do. Give me that, uh, uh, Matthew uh, 19. Hold that, because you're coming back to that, right? Ultimately, our job is to, at the end of this life where we just struggled, we didn't went through all this stuff, is to live forever in eternal peace. Right. right. That's ultimately what we want. That's the goal, right? Listen to what Christ says you got to do to get that, though. Read. 
And behold, this is the book of Matthew, chapter 19, verse 17. Verse 16. And behold, one came unto, unto him and said, Good master, what good thing shall I do that I may have eternal life? He said, well, somebody came to Christ and said, What can I do to have eternal life? You want eternal life, right? You want to live forever, no pain? You know what I'm saying? What if you could have your baby without having no pain? Okay. That would be a beautiful thing, right? That's what you want, right? He said, how can I get to eternal life, right? And he said unto him, why callest thou me good? There is none good but one. That is God. So that crushes the statement where people say God and Christ are the same person. He said, I'm not good. God is good. Right, Rio? But if thou wilt. Hold on, wait for this bus to go across. She's a little uh, ignorant today. Read it again. But if thou wilt enter into life, keep the commandment. The only way that we can enter in the kingdom of heaven is keeping the commandment. That's right. And, and women wearing a dress is a commandment. Right. That's a commandment. It says, thou shalt not. That means it's a commandment. Meaning if you breaking that, you're not going to be able to receive eternal life. And I'm definitely going to take the time out to read. When I go home, I'm going to just do that. Say it one more time. I said, today I'm going to take the time out to read that. Uh-huh. You know, and do my research. Okay. So, and then I have to talk to my employer and make sure that it's We have sisters in the body, right? It's not just us. We got a large congregation. We got sisters in the body who may have jobs. Like, let's see if you're a construction worker or something. You can't be on the construction site of pants, right? Maybe they won't allow you to do that, right? You can get a letter. What I say? You can't be on the construction site in a dress, right? You can get a letter and try to do it, but maybe they won't accept you, right? But once you get off, what's stopping you in? Nothing, right? So this is it's two different spirits in this earth today, right? It's the just and the righteous. And I'm going to show you how it can be righteous. I'm going to leave you with these last two scriptures because I know you're trying to go. Start with the start with the unjust, verse 17. Sirach, 32, verse 17. Listen good, last one. Sirach, chapter 32, verse 17. You know? A simple man will not be reproved, but find him an excuse according to his will. So we say certain people on this earth they, once they find, get reproved, meaning corrected, according to the Bible, they're going to find an excuse. They're going to look for something to weasel their way out of your life, right? Certain people like that, but then it's the opposite spirit. This is the spirit we all need to have. Verse 24. Read. Verse 24. He that believeth in the Lord, take a feed to the commandment. He said the person that believes in the Lord, because everybody say they believe in the Lord, but everybody don't. Uh, unfortunately, everybody do not love the Lord or believe. Right. He, said, he that believeth, they do what? He that believeth in the Lord, take a heed to the commandment. Meaning when they hear a commandment that the Lord gave out of this Bible, they gonna do everything in their power to obey that thing. Right, right. You know what I'm saying? And that's the spirit you want to have. Because that's the spirit that's gonna enter into eternal life. Right. Right. So now since today you found out you're an Israelite, you one of God's chosen people, and as an Israelite, it's certain things commanded in us so that we can live as royal. Because royalty don't live like the peasants. You know, the white man and his white woman, they the ones who came up with all this interracial marriage, right. uh this uh homosexuality, women wearing whatever they want, they came up with that. They're the peasants. We the chosen. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold, from Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone, 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.